Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, I'm going to be very direct and to the point, and that's a first for me. I have been working on setting up my carriage on a motor, and I went the DC route and everything, which it would have worked. But it was big and cumbersome and I didn't particularly care for it. So I bought a pulley system and, and pulleys and this is a three to one system. And I've had this stepper motor in previous videos. You've probably noticed that, you know, the stepper drive is driving me crazy. And it was because all my brothers and sisters on YouTube that I get tons of information off of, nobody really was clear on any of this and trust me guys when I tell you this is all new stuff to me it really is so I got to playing around with it the wiring I bought a pulse generator to run it you know this is forward reverse or swap rotation clockwise counterclockwise on off so, and this is a little 24 volt. Everything runs off 24 volts. This is a, and I am not sure what this is. As far as the stepper motor I bought, it might not be the right one, but it is this number right here. So I, I interpret that as a 23, a stepper 23. Could be wrong. We're gonna plug it in. So, you're gonna see that you got lights and stuff here. Let's go over what I've got this thing set at because nobody, and this particular little device right here, and I'm gonna zoom in on this right quick so y'all can see it. It is a, uh, I want to say this is made by Toshiba. And it's a total of, let me get it in there, total of 3.5 amps. Uh, and it's got all these dips and for different settings over here. And that's what we're gonna go over because all my brothers and sisters on YouTube hasn't really shared this. Uh, and I'm gonna share what made this motor on this driver run the best okay and I'm not going to go through all the the different things so now the upper one is running current and you know it's got all this 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 all the way up to uh, three amps you know me, wide open, that, that, that's how we do it. Let me see if I can get this focused in a little bit better. There we go, all right. So you gotta set, let me get this, there we go. You gotta set for three amps, you gotta go on, 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 off. So when we look at the dips, We got on, 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 off, one, two, three, four, makes it run on three amps. Should it be doing that? I don't know. That's the reason my brothers and sisters on here should tell me. Uh, whether or not it should be running at three amps. So now the next thing that you have to look at is your switch two would be stop. 20% or 50%. I, 
thing scared the sh shit out of me. Uh, I've got it set at 20%. Not really sure whether that's it or not. And this right here is excitation. And that's switch three and four. I have it set, and for this particular motor, I have it set on 16, which if you look at the dips, three and four, off and on. Okay, so the next one we go to here is decay. Have no damn idea what that means. So comments on this post or comments on this video will be welcome. It runs best at zero zero and I got it at zero percent. On off at 25, off on at 50 and on on at 100. Now the wiring for the motor and we're going to get away from this for a little bit here. Uh, there was very limited information that I could get. So I had to Google it and there was a little bit on there. And what really was getting me more than anything else was, was all these, you, you had, every one of these was a ground. This one, the, the two whites and the black was a the ground. They all go to the same thing. They all go to the same plug. And I got that set on, I think, frequency. And then these right here, the, they were simple. So, and this is the little pulse. The little, what this thing do? Okay. <laughs> this is the little pulse generator that I got. Uh, everything's in I assume would be Japanese, Chinese, Chinese not really up on the oriental language that much but so I'm going to zoom you all in on this and you can see you got a little LED light right here somewhere right there and that's the run signal and you can see and like I said I'm going to zoom in on this it's running right now now you got pins over here let's get back over to here if I make any y'all sick let me know okay well that's for that connector right here but am I going to get that to come in there anyway maybe I can get you to see it in telephoto here these particular ones right here determine whether it goes to low medium or high this one right here is frequency and pulse width modulation now, I put it on pulse width modulation it was kind of choppy so Right now I got it on medium and on frequency. This button, let me get this in here. Might need to widen out a little bit here. Okay, this button is on and off. And you can see that moving. That's changing directions. This will speed it up. Very strong, you're not gonna stop it.
Now the stop, I would assume, I've got it on 20%, probably at 50%, it would be a little bit harder. But I don't think that's going to be an issue with that. You start it, you need to go back that way. Whenever it smooths out like that, then you can swap it back and forth, no problem. When you go over that, it sounds a little choppier, but it'll still do the same thing. You're not gonna stop it. So this is kind of what I've been wanting to do. I haven't found any information for what I need to do. So I gave you the information, this is the best setting on this particular motor for this particular driver for this particular and you can see it's actually still driving it but it's not given the information to drive it so turn this off no that's on actually turn this off okay we're gonna unplug it now this is a little 24 4 volt uh, power supply and I had a box to put all this in right here okay so I'm gonna try to get all this in a box and get this where to work and I'm gonna get it mounted like right here or something like that uh, this is what I looked at doing and uh, I just never could find any videos that that really told you anything now I googled the uh, and it's really hard you have to look really hard on this thing and let's see if I can't get them in here the uh, right here they have these but they're up under the darn uh, block I mean, they're up under, they're very hard to see. You can see them, I mean, if you wear glasses like I do, you can't see it, you can't see anything, but anyway, that's it. That's our next project, that's what we're gonna do. So, thank you very much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe. This is gonna be pretty interesting because this thing does put out, uh, you know, it's got a heat sink on it. It does put out a fair amount of heat, and this motor, uh, puts out a little bit of heat but I'm thinking maybe these wires might be like really low key and we're going to upgrade those a little bit but other than that hit like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and uh, please hit like and subscribe guys we're gonna get this hooked up this thing is like super strong it really is and uh, not a whole bunch of money involved here I'm going to do the cross slide and this and uh, one day maybe cnc hook it up i'll have everything here to do it so that's it in a nutshell uh y'all have a good day